You need to stop oversharing and embarrassing yourself. You talk too much. Oversharing can cost you relationships and friendships. Likewise, not sharing enough can cost you relationships and friendships. This is why you have to learn how to strike the needed balance. What is oversharing? Oversharing in a relationship simply means giving out too much personal information to your partner or anyone who cares to listen to you. These information might be uncomfortable to their ears. Some people have mouth diarrhea. They don't know when they are over talking and giving out unsolicited information, especially when they are hurting or going through something. I understand that at one point in our lives, we are all guilty of this. We are probably overshared information that we later on in our lives regretted we did. Pray that you don't share a secret with a friend that later turns out to be your enemy. We see ourselves sharing too much when we feel so lonely or hurt or in pain. It might be challenging and very difficult when you don't have a dependable family and when life overwhelms you. Experiencing childhood trauma due to neglect or abuse can pose a different type of pain, which will make it difficult to maintain a normal relationship or healthy boundaries. Oversharing in relationship can include sharing personal and intimate details of your past relationship, insecurities, fears, and personal details that should be better addressed by a professional. Oftentimes, people overshare just to establish bonds and intimacy which oftentimes backfires. Why do you overshare? Oversharing is one phenomenon that happens to anyone during the course of your romantic journeys. It typically occurs when you feel very comfortable with your romantic partner, especially during the honeymoon stage of your relationship. This can also be defined as divulging too much personal information to that person. Oversharing your feelings or experiences with your partner without considering a healthy boundary. At that point, you fail to consider the effect these informations will have on your partner. Why do you overshare? One, people overshare when they feel lonely and bored. When you're lonely, bored, and not engaged, talking might seem like the next free thing for you to do. You might end up oversharing before you realize that you're over talking to a stranger. Two, trust issues. If you have been betrayed and hurt in your past relationship, you might see the need to want to share. This might just be you oversharing because you want to test your new partner's trustworthiness. Guess what? You might see yourself sharing much more than necessary. Three, lack of boundaries. People tend to overshare in relationships. They might overshare because they feel this is the right way to connect and be closer to that partner. Four, Difficulty in communication can lead you to oversharing. When an individual struggles to express their feelings and their thoughts, they may result to excessive sharing of personal details. This is them trying to express their desire for your understanding. Five, need for validation. People may overshare in relationships due to their need for validation. They probably feel insecure or unsure of themselves. In this case, they may share more personal information than necessary. This is them trying to gain reassurance from whoever is listening. Let me know which of the above reasons led you to overshare at that point in your life. In my subsequent video on this topic, I'll be teaching you skills on how to help you stop oversharing. My name is Mr. Revolution, and as always, I hope this helps.